Welcome to the Yachts for Sale and Charter YouTube channel, opening a window into the world of yacht brokerage. We've actually just finished filming the Super Yacht News video for Northrop & Johnson. That's a monthly video that we're developing that will be published on the Northrop & Johnson YouTube channel. It takes a few days to edit, but when it's ready, I'll put a link on my community tab on this channel for those of you that want to watch it. But the exciting news for me is that next week, finally, we'll be back out on the water filming yachts for sale, which actually is what this YouTube channel is all about. Now, you may remember last year that I filmed a promotional video for a shipyard called Sichterman Yachts. They're based in the Netherlands and they produce yachts in the 15 to 26 meter range. Well, they were so happy with the video that I produced that they've actually given two of their yachts to Northrop & Johnson to represent for sale. And those are the two yachts that I'll be filming. One of them is 15 meters long, the other is 19 meters long. I don't do too many videos of yachts in that size range, but in truth, I daydream all the time about owning a yacht of that kind of size. So I thought in this vlog, I'd produce a video about the five yachts I daydream the most about, depending on how I'm feeling. The Sichterman 15 meter known as the Libertas is just a great yacht for spending time with friends and with family. In truth, she is slightly over the 50 foot mark at 53 feet overall, so certainly the largest in this video. And she really does feel tremendously spacious. Her interiors have a, a real feeling of quality about them. And certainly there's enough space inside and out for a group of five or six friends to be able to go out to sea without getting under each other's feet. And if you want to impress your friends with the turn of speed, you'll be pleased to hear that she has a highly advanced hull shape called a fast planing hull design. This twinned with Volvo IPS 950 drives results in a 38 knot top speed and some truly impressive handling. Coming down just a little in size to just under 49 feet in length is the Riva Mari. And who is there that hasn't dreamt of owning a Riva at some point? I see these yachts regularly in the port in Monaco and they just make the imagination race every time you see them. And this is not just because of their sexy Italian styling. Riva yachts, especially those of this size range, are well known for their quality and attention to detail. As is to be expected from just about the world's most desirable yachting brand, the interiors are stunningly sophisticated. And the performance is not to be sniffed at either. Twin 800 horsepower Volvo engines produce a top speed of 35 knots, and she can comfortably cruise at 30. Sometimes though the need for speed overcomes the best of us, and some of the most fun I have had filming walkthrough videos is on the Anvera 48. These luxury ribs are equipped with surface drives. That's a propulsion system that gives maximum thrust. So whilst the other two yachts on our list will reach respectable speeds from the mid to late 30s, the Anvera 48 will max out at 50 knots. When I do really fantasize about a house on the water in Fort Lauderdale and a boat to tie up at the back, I often come back to the Anvera. I like the fact that the rubber tubes make it easy to moor without causing any damage. And I just love the opening deck system that converts the boat into a floating platform with floating armchairs and storage for sea bobs. I've spent many an hour in the Bahamas enjoying that in my dreams. Let's get serious for a moment though, because if I ever am in a position to buy a boat, I will almost certainly buy an Axopar. They're just such a wise choice for the first time boat buyer. The pricing of these boats is so competitive and their website is very transparent regarding their prices, with the largest in their range, the 37XC, which is shown here, starting at 94,500 euro. I should add that you do have to add the price of outboard motors to that, which are considerable, but still, this is a fraction of the cost of the other yachts in this list. Added to that, they have a strong reputation for being robust, well-built craft with an excellent hull design and great service. It's no surprise that many yacht captains and yacht owners opt for them, and I think so would I. I guess I have Reva tastes, but Axopar pockets 
That's no bad thing at all if it gets me out on the water. For many though, the dream is to live on a yacht and travel the world. And I must admit, I do indulge in that dream from time to time. Nordhaven are a natural choice for such a desire, and the smallest yacht in their range is actually just 41 feet long, the Nordhaven 41. If you think that it would be impossible to cruise long range on such a yacht, you may be surprised to hear that the Nordhaven 40 holds the world record for the fastest circumnavigation by a production powerboat, so the pedigree of this model is sensational. Quite honestly, the interiors look mighty well built too, and pretty comfortable, so I'm keen to take a look at one at the next opportunity at a boat show to find out more about them. If you are honestly considering cruising the world, I can tell you that the Nordhaven website contains more technical details and documentation than any other yachting website I have ever seen. It kind of puts everybody else to shame, and it's a great starting point in planning which one of their models to choose from. To be totally honest, I wasn't sure at first what the fifth yacht on the list would be until I remembered that Nordhaven do do these smaller models. And when I looked at their website, I became absolutely glued to it. If you seriously are thinking of living on a yacht and traveling the world, that is a great model to look at. Now, as I'm filming this vlog, I have a camera crew returning from the Bahamas where they've been filming Sea Axis. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll know that Sea Axis is a beautiful Heeson. In fact, I did a video all about what Heeson are building right now. So I should be receiving that footage later today or tomorrow. And next week, I'll show you some of the wonderful footage of Sea Axis in the Bahamas. I'll tell you more about that yacht. So you don't want to miss that video and you can make sure you don't miss it by subscribing to this channel.